Hello, I'm Kevin, Senior Horticulturalist here at the Greenery Garden Home in Heidelberg. Today I want to run through with you the benefits of adding compost and manures to your garden soils and your vegetable gardens. And I'm going to explain how to do it and uh, what your plants will get out of it. So stay with me and I'll, uh, I'll run through it with you now. So we're here at the vegetable garden here at the Greenery Garden and Home and uh, I'm going to show you how to incorporate uh, the manure or compost or both into your garden beds. Um, and I want to talk a little bit first about garden soils and why we add products to them to, uh, to improve them. Um, a typical soil is made up of lots of different things. Uh, it's got a certain amount of um, organic matter in it. It's got a, an amount of uh, solid particles and it's got a lot of microorganisms and worms and all those good things that we expect to have in soil so that the plants benefit and grow well. So conditioning soil is an ongoing um, thing in the garden and uh, it's beneficial particularly for seasonal type plants like vegetables or annuals, which you wanna get the best production out of them and the most flowers out of them and improving the soil on a regular basis will help with that. So uh, incorporating things like animal manures, cow manure is a typical example, um, that uh, helps to add organic matter to the soil. It helps to encourage the microorganisms which are going to help um, with uh, you know, the soil uh, consistency and also benefit the plants in their growth. Um, a lot of animal manures also uh, add fertiliser as they break down and they also help to feed the plants and encourage growth. So your vegetables, for instance, will get a lot of benefit out of, um, out of those sort of products. Um, animal manures are often fairly high in nitrogen and typically things like uh, chicken manure is used um, for leafy type vegetables in soils to encourage um, lots of leafy growth on your cabbages and your lettuce and broccoli, for instance. So um, regularly incorporating them into the soil in between your crops um, helps to keep the soil uh, conditioned good and keep the plants flourishing over a long period of time. So, it's not only for vegetable gardens, you can also use it when you're in, uh, planting new shrubs or trees into, uh, into spots in garden beds or um, even in pots for that matter. The uh, compost um, helps with the establishment of a new plant in the garden and uh, helps to open up particularly heavy type soils where you know, drainage issues may occur and again also benefits with feeding, feeding the plants as they're, uh, as they're starting to grow and establish. So a lot of benefits. It also helps to help with moisture uh, holding in the soil. The soils don't tend to dry out as quickly in uh, hot weather because the compost itself absorbs moisture and uh, the roots are less likely to dry out. Uh, remembering too, you can of often use compost or manures as mulches around plants. Uh, as they deteriorate, break down into the soil, they're also going to benefit, um, benefit the growing conditions of the plants as well. So there's a lot of good things about using uh, organic matter. And it can incorporate things like uh, manures, which I've mentioned. Animal manures are generally all very good. Uh, be careful using fresh, uh, straight off the farm animal manures, particularly things like um, Chicken manure, uh, they are very strong and if they're applied too heavily around plants, initially at planting time, they can cause burning of the root system. So they need to be well incorporated. Um, it's probably an advantage in adding uh, manures, say a, a few weeks or um, you know a month or so in advance of planting, 
uh, that allows them to break down a little bit so that when you do come to plant your new seedlings, they're not so badly affected by the strong uh, uh, conditions of the manure itself. So um, adding, adding compost manure at planting time is okay, but just be aware of the, um, the, the strength of the product that you might be using. Always good practice to incorporate the manure or the compost through the soil prior to planting for the same reason um, it helps to um, avoid close contact with the root system of the plants, less likely to burn the root system of the plant. So digging through into the soil, getting it down where it's needed, down near the root system, uh, when the new plant grows into it, it gets off to a good start. So I'm going to show you how to do that now, how to incorporate it into the garden and uh, uh, you'll see uh, you'll see what I've been talking about. So here we are at the uh, Greenery Garden and Home vegetable patch and uh, we're wanting to get some new summer vegetables um, planted but before we do that we need to uh, incorporate some organic matter into the soil for the benefits that I've already mentioned um, and today I was uh, going to use uh, cow manure. Uh, it's a very safe organic type manure, not too strong and not likely to burn the root system of plants. Um, this product has been well pulverized so it incorporates easily into the soil so that it works fairly quickly um, on the plants and benefits the soil quickly as well. So it's a matter of just spreading out the manure across the area where um, the vegetables to be planted and then you can either fork it through with a garden fork or a spade or shovel, um, getting it down into the root system area where the plants are gonna get the most benefit from it. So I've evenly spread the cow manure across the surface of the existing soil um, with the intention of digging it through to a depth where it's gonna benefit the plants. Now, not so critical on how deep it's dug down, but um, as long as it's worked through the soil and you're getting so a sort of a 50-50 blend of the existing soil with the manure. And I'll show you how to incorporate that through now. So it's uh, just a matter of turning the soil over and incorporating the manure, manure down below the soil surface. So it's just a matter of working your way across the vegetable garden. You can see the consistency of this soil now. Over time, it's, um, it's improved with the addition of compost and manures over a regular period of time. You can see the worms in the soil here. And we all know the benefits of having worms in garden soils. Um, and adding the manure and the compost tends to encourage all those types of good things in the soil for your plants to grow well. So it's just a matter of working over the whole area where you spread out the manure, incorporating it through so it's evenly distributed. And uh, it's as easy as that. At the same time, you could ask, add some fertilizer. If you're preparing um, vegetable garden, for instance, um, good idea to add some sort of uh, fertilizer like blood and bone, uh, just to help get the plants going. Thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video on our topic today of incorporating manures and compost into garden soils. Remember that if you have any other queries, feel free to come down and speak to the staff here at the Greenery Garden and Home and they'll only be too happy to help with any gardening queries you may have. Remember that we're open six and a half days a week and uh, we can help you with any of your garden needs. Thanks for watching again.